Paihe's familiar waterfront is set for a multi-million dollar facelift with the news that the Provincial Growth Fund and Far North District Council are set to invest more than $13 million in a long-standing plan to develop the area. Far North Holdings has lobbied for and received $8 million from the PGF to build breakwaters and groins that will protect the town's newly renovated wharf, the main road and utility services such as sewerage and water. Far North District Council has earmarked an additional $5.3 million for development of the recreational area and to restore the beach between the wharf and Nihonui Point. This was once the most popular beach in the area but is now almost completely eroded. The timing around the availability of this funding and therefore the work associated with it is yet to be confirmed by Council. The design of the breakwater was altered after consultation with the late Emma Gibbs-Smith, Kuya of Te Pewhairangi. The changes will allow marine life unfettered access around the islands and will maintain the independence of the islands while also protecting Paihia from wave action. The breakwater will protect the considerable investment that has gone into the recently refurbished Paihia Wharf. We've all seen the recent images of tidal surges and storm swells bashing into this vital piece of infrastructure. The plan was consented and granted ministerial approval in October 2010 after 10 years of research and 5 years of consultation. But it was shelved while Far North Holdings focused on economic development projects such as the Opua Marine Park, the Ngāwha Innovation and Enterprise Park near Kaikohe and tourism infrastructure in the Hokianga, and community development projects such as Te Hononga in Kaukaua. I turned up here 12 years ago and I couldn't understand why this block wall sat between the town and the water and made a large part of our town's coast unusable and this project is going to make that space usable and it's going to add it to the, to the wonderful space of Horatutu and extend it down to the beach and make it a place that's used and welcomed and uh, I just can't wait to, to see it finished. Uh, it's something that we've been dreaming about for basically those whole 12 years. We aim to put all work out to public tender late this year and appoint contractors. Public procurement processes will govern and the awarding of the contracts and we expect several local contractors to bid for the project. At this stage we anticipate construction will start late this year and take 24 months to complete. We'll be scheduling work to create as little disruption to, as possible over the peak tourism periods. Paihe residents will have significant input into the way much of the project finance is spent. The design components of the waterfront redevelopment will be subject to input and prioritisation by the community. The people who live here are going to be the ones to decide what it will look like. With Far North Holdings allowing the community to actually decide how this money is spent on which components that are already consented, so nothing that's not consented will go on the table, but there will be components that are consented that the community will get to decide on, and that's really, really exciting. We don't want to preempt at this stage what that process is going to look like. All we know for sure is that a group of people, a working group, will be able to sit down and come up with a robust process that allows everybody to have their say. I would suggest that we look at costing out every component that's an option to build, and with knowing the final figure that's available to spend, we then work down from the most popular to the least popular and those would be the components that fit in. So there may be some that we miss out on. If you want to have X, then you can't have Y. And that's going to be the discussion point and that's going to be for the community to, to decide, not for any one particular group or, or any one particular person or any one particular company. It's a community input into what our town is going to look like. It's a phenomenal opportunity. I think it's gold. This is a, a real community project because uh, we've been given the opportunity uh, with Far North Holdings is going to project manage the project. Uh, the breakwaters are an essential component to the project. Uh, but the rest of the items on the list are up for the community to decide as to what their priorities are for their waterfront. And I would encourage members of our community to get out there and inform themselves uh, of the potential components and make sure that they have their say about what is completed uh, or what is included as part of this waterfront development. Far North Holdings aims to host three community meetings in the week of the 10th of August to brief Paihe residents on the plans and to answer questions. 
Details will be advertised on social media and in local newspapers. Further community meetings will be held at six monthly intervals once work starts. Written project updates will be provided monthly once work starts and will be shared both on social media and on the Far North Holdings website. Ko Willie Henley, Tene, North Te Du North TV, my Paihia.